Hello everybody, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. This is Feral Comics and the Earth Day issue. This is what I published. There will be a link in the show note if you guys want to check it out. But today we're here to talk about this zine here, Nebraska 2. Uh, basically it's a zine about two political prisoners from the Black Panthers. And let me go ahead and tell you their story. So this zine is about these two political prisoners who were part of the Black Panthers movement in the 1960s. This is Ed Poindexter and Mondo Wilanga. Sadly, Mondo Wilanga died. Ed is still in prison. The contact information for Ed is right here. Just in case you guys want to reach out to them. This is a zine put together by the New York City Anarchist Black Cross. It's a really good group. I work with the, with the local chapter sometimes. And basically the way this story goes is that they were blamed for a bombing that left one cop dead. And there's uh, information here about COINTELPRO. COINTELPRO is this FBI kind of movement, uh, this J. Edgar Hoover like attempt at ultimately deciding who could or couldn't be uh, allowed to speak or to politicize people, people that were part of the COINTELPRO for instance, for people like Martin Luther King Jr. as well, uh, uh, Malcolm X, and a lot of other uh, people. And uh, Ed and Mondo were disliked because they were basically the most loud, I guess, activists or, um, I guess, organizers in Nebraska. And one of the main uh, organizing points for them was uh, this Vivian Strong situation, which was a 14-year-old girl who was killed in the summer of 1969. And basically this zine goes into kind of the cover up and how it was done, how they basically persuaded uh, Dwayne Peake, a, a juvenile. They pressured him into lying for a reduced sentence. They basically scared him and he lied in court. And that's how they got their conviction. You know, it goes into, like I said, a lot of the nefarious things of them hiding evidence about police officer Marvin McLeod basically saying that the dynamite was planted, that it, that it wasn't true, that they were innocent. And basically how somehow uh, Mondo's house was burned down so they were never able to actually search it. And at that point it became a mute point and they said, we'll just take the police officer's word for it. And and that's just, it's just a sad, horrible story, man. And I have a bunch of these that I got from the Black Cross. I used to pass these out. And uh, this one was just something I was reading today. Uh, something recently I got from a purchase. And uh, yeah, so that's the New York Anarchist Black Cross. And to, if you want to write Ed a point Dexter, this is that information right here, you guys. And uh, there's a lot of political prisoners still here in the United States. And let's keep organizing and, and working and doing what we can until they're all free. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Lates. And as always, all the links that you might need for the New York City Anarchist Black Cross Federation or to uh, send mail out to the Nebraska 2 will be in the show notes. Thanks, you guys.